The Eyewitness News investigators tonight explore ties between a prominent Indiana Islamic organization and groups and individuals under investigation for ties to terrorism. The Islamic Society of North America calls the associations innocent, but there are images in conflict. Investigator Angie Moreski takes a closer look tonight at ISNA Connections. Arrested University of South Florida Professor Samuel Arian, Islamic Charity, Quranic Literacy Institute, and an Islamic think tank known as Triple IT. These are among a dozen individuals and organizations under federal scrutiny for possible ties to terrorism linked in some way to the Islamic Society of North America. Ties, sources tell us, have also placed ISNA, located in rural Plainfield, under the federal microscope. ISNA Secretary General Dr. Saeed Saeed says he invites any investigation. If there are any questions, people should ask us questions because we are an open organization. I mean, whatever is happening, we should be able to explain. Recently indicted University of South Florida Professor Samuel Arian is one controversial figure ISNA supported. In this federal indictment, Al Arian is accused of heading the U.S. front for the terrorist group Palestinian Islamic Jihad. The Department of Justice links him to the death of 100 civilians overseas, including two Americans. When Al Arian was arrested, ISNA issued a statement on its website critical of the government's actions. If these people are connected to terrorist acts, is it good to be issuing statements in support of them? What statement must have? I don't even remember a well, statement. Well, I guess the yes. Samuel Arian statement comes Sometime out. Sometimes we might have said that in a, someone, I mean, so-and-so should not be targeted just because it's a Muslim. But once you know that there is a definite case in court, ultimately it will be the court that will decide and no one else will decide. Before coming to ISNA, Saeed was a longtime employee at the International Institute of Islamic Thought, an Islamic think tank in Virginia known as Triple IT. Federal authorities executed a search warrant there last year. The reason? Major donations made while Saeed was there to an organization founded by Samuel Arian. Well, what was your reaction when they were raided? It was a surprise for me, a shock for me. Do yeah. you still have ties with them? No, I don't have any ties. But according to Triple IT's website, Saeed is still on the advisory board of its journal. Triple IT leaders say they have no ties to terrorism, no charges have been filed. Some of ISNA's own members have raised concerns on another issue, large donations from people in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia follows a more extreme version of Islam known as Wahhabism and questions continue to swirl around possible Saudi ties to terrorism, including 9-11. I see a substantial contribution by foreign countries, Saudi Arabia. At this 1994 ISNA convention, this That's member questioned why his organization accepted more than $500,000 in Saudi donations. So one of my concern is, are we subject to their dictates and aspirations. Saeed says Saudi donations did not buy influence at ISNA and insists that money never came from Saudi extremists. Even so, the organization no longer accepts money from Saudi donors. Well, I can tell you for the last three, four years, even that individual donation is over. Last year, it was exactly a big zero. The Quranic Literacy Institute, an Islamic charity founded by a past ISNA president, is also under federal scrutiny. The government froze more than $1 million in QLI assets in 1998. Saeed admits ISNA was questioned by federal authorities about a donation it made to QLI, but says that's as far as their connection goes. Our records are very clear. We, we are not on their board. We have, I have never visited them. I but have never the past president of ISNA heads it he up. He had, he had already deserted. There was already, he had been expelled from here. And it was on bad terms. Uh, it looks, yeah. Do you know true. why? There might have been the same thing. He might not have been sharing the same vision that this organization has. So what exactly is that vision? Some members of the Muslim community say they are concerned, but many are hesitant to talk about it, saying that ISNA is a powerful and influential organization. 
We did, however, talk with some former ISNA members and some in the national Muslim community who say some of ISNA's ties send the wrong message. The question is, is what you're saying All really right. what you're practicing? All right. Is exactly. It? Yeah, definitely. What else? A statement here, a few words here, that doesn't yeah. mean anything. Because what you have to see is how aggressively we are opposing terrorist activities, how aggressively we are opposing misinterpretation of religion, hijacking of religion. Does this need to be more careful about who it's associating with? Yeah, naturally. I mean, everybody has to be careful, yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. That's the final advice. Saeed says he was brought in almost 10 years ago now to redirect ISNA's vision and believes he has succeeded in making it more mainstream. He says drawing conclusions from these connections would be a case of trying to create guilt by association. But some of these questions aren't from all that long ago. It's some, of, some of this is pretty recent. That's true. In fact, at a congressional hearing just last month on the issue of recruiting Islamic radicals in prisons and the military, Isn's name came up several times. In this testimony, the senators from New York, Schumer, California, Feinstein, and Kyle from Arizona, also they were concerned about some of Isna's connections because it recommends Muslim clerics to the Bureau of prisons and they question whether the organization should continue to do that interesting thank you Angie. thank you you're welcome, welcome.